Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with another Lost Ark video. This time we're doing some Chaos Dungeons on my fresh item level 1050 Berserker. So this is about to be moved to Papunika. So I want to see how difficult or how non-difficult the dungeon is going to be. These are my engravings. So my raw actual base attack power is 7931 with a plus 13 weapon. Um, another thing to note is I think my microphone is either broken or there's some other issues because I definitely sound a lot worse than I used to and I don't exactly know where the issue is, but I still want to make content. I hope you guys can bear with it. So, without further ado, let's do some Chaos Dungeons on my Berserker. Like I said, this is my gear. These are my skill points. I'm not entirely sure if my build is the right thing or not, but needless to say, um, we're going to try. Because some people reported that Chaos Dungeons are quite hard. And I was under the impression that the starting Chaos Dungeon is always piss easy. And judging by how quickly I demolish these mobs, I still think that is true. I don't think there's going to be any problem whatsoever clearing these mobs, even though I have a very suboptimal setup for that. So, we shall see though. I'm definitely certain that we can very easily clear this. I think this is actually faster clear speed than either my Lance Master or my Devil Hunter, so... Needless to say, it, it, it makes sense, to be honest, because this is the entry-level Chaos Dungeon that you get to do once you hit item level 10,000... 10,000? <laughs> that would be crazy. No, but the once you hit item level 1,050, this Chaos Dungeon is available for you. So you can actually go to Papunika at 1005 and do the storyline. I actually did the story before that. But to actually progress with your gear, you need to hit item level 1050, which uh, for some people may be quite an expensive journey. I do have another video where I basically showcase the final steps of my upgrading process, and I was very unlucky. As much as I had good RNG when it comes to my Lance Master and my Devil Hunter, my Berserker did not have good luck at all. Like, like, really not. I think I was quite unlucky. And I consumed almost uh, 13k total in materials and gold and stuff like that to upgrade two pieces to 16 and one piece to 17. So, I don't think I was really lucky. But we're finally here. So we're about to get the Berserker to Papunika. Or we are in Papunika. Gonna get the item level up. And supposedly next week I will definitely be able to do Papunika Void 1, maybe even Void 2. That highly depends on the rest of my upgrading process and how things are gonna go. Needless to say though, the first step in the process is finding the right equipment. Which may or may not be so easy, but we shall see. Anyways, let's try to one-shot this boss. Yeah, we're definitely gonna murder this guy. Look at that. Not even Zerg mode, non-cred. Just demolished this boss. So yeah, like I said, the, the most critical part is finding the right pieces. I have one sword, I have one helmet, I have one pants. And we're halfway through the first Chaos Dungeon, which is pretty good actually, I think. So, I definitely think we can do it. Wow, these guys just evaporated. That was quite, quite brutal, the damage we did. We got another sword. That's not exactly what we want. We got another armor. That's nice. So we, oh, we have almost the entire set. The only thing we're missing is shoes. So unless my RNG is going to be horrible, we actually may be able to pull it off after one run. That would be great because then I could do the next run in the second one. But we shall see how it goes. Let's just slap this guy. Boom, 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 boom. See what RNG has to offer for us. I kind of maybe should have saved some energy yesterday or two days before that because I knew that I'm gonna be hitting it today. But hey, can't complain because we're still gonna get a bunch of good stuffs here. Another helmet? Eh, maybe I should have not called it. 
I think this is such a good Chaos Clear skill. So, let's see. I don't think we can get to summon another boss, but... Oh, yo. God damn it, I hate these mobs so much. Spin to win. Look at how these mobs are just disappearing. Yeah, I think we might need the second one as well. Very likely. I mean, I can try and ulti that boss to get the extra drop. Let's see. I want to make him have a move because he's going to jump soon. I'm not sure if I actually clapped him or not. I think I may have missed him. Welp. That means we're lacking shoes. That means we're not going to hit the next item level, but that's perfectly fine. I don't want to do another Chaos Run because I have to redo this again. I'm just going to switch out gear. And then we're going for it. Like I said, this is all for uh, another video. So attack power 7,931. 7, this is without uh, crystal. Because I have crystal on. So my base attack power is like I said. 7,931. I very easily cleared Chaos Dungeons in Papunika. So if you're afraid to do a low enchanting or keeping your weapon low enchanting rude. At least level 13 is very much doable. I suppose level 12 should work just as fine, but I haven't tested that myself. But, anywho, like I said, this is all for today's video. Like I said, pardon me for the shitty audio quality. I need to figure out what the hell is going on. Last but not least, if you want to see me live on Twitch, I do stream on Monday, 1700 CST, and other days that I announce on my Discord, Twitter, and Twitch, and YouTube. I'll like these as well, so feel free to check that out. Last but not least, I do hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see ya.